Welcome to Trucking by the Numbers, where I go over my pay statements from Christensen Transportation, where I was a LEAPS operator. This is for the 43rd week of the year, which ended October 28th. Let's talk about it. Coming up. All right, starting off with load number one went from Lebanon, Tennessee to Ellysburg, Pennsylvania. The load had zero empty miles, 758 loaded miles for $947. The fuel rebate was $443. The market surcharge, $4.55. The load paid $1,395. That was $1.84 per loaded mile. Load number two went from Allentown, Pennsylvania to Jacksonville, Florida. There were 78 empty miles for $35. 892 loaded miles for $1,115. Fuel rebate was $521. The market surcharge, $5. The load paid $1,670. $7 or $1.88 per loaded mile. Now this third one's going to throw you for a loop. This load went from Macon, Georgia to Tooele, Utah. Yes, I know that does not fit in the southeast region. Did the dispatcher a favor there. 270 empty miles for $275. 1,992 loaded miles for $2,490. Fuel rebate was $1,165. Market surcharge $12. The load paid $39.42, or $1.75 per loaded mile. This week, I bought fuel four times. The first time was in White Pine, Tennessee, and it was a fill-up. Second time was in Lotta, South Carolina. It was also a fill-up. The third time was a top-off in Calhoun, Georgia. Fourth time was in Cheyenne, Wyoming, where I bought a partial fueling, just enough to get me somewhere where the fuel would be less expensive. At pump price, I got 519.9 gallons, $2,729, which came to a pump price of $5.25. Since this was purchased with the company discount card, that 519.9 gallons actually wound up costing me $2,402, or an average pump price of $4.62 per gallon. That was a savings of $327, or 62.9 cents per gallon. That is 12%. Taking a look at the logs this week, they were pretty well matched up. 39.90 dispatch miles, 39.50 logged miles, 38.64 odometer miles. Again, there's a little bit of carryover week to week. The fixed costs are just that, fixed expenses. They stay the same every week. This page of the fixed costs includes the sign-on bonus, which is $150, the 275s at the bottom. Those offset the performance bond escrow and the TL security deposit. This week, the variable lease was at $39.90 times $0.43 cents per mile for $1,715. All right, it's time for the summary page. Load summary. There were three loads, 348 empty miles, 3,642 loaded miles for a total of 39.90 total miles. That was 91.3% loaded, 1,330 miles average. New summary, $310 for empty miles, $45.52 for loaded miles, zero for detention. There was no detention this week. $21.85 for market surcharge, $21.30 for fuel rebate on $150 for sign-on bonus, total revenue of $7,164. Expense summary, $1,715 for the variable lease on the truck, $226 for fixed expenses, $2,402 for diesel fuel, $89 for DEF, $150 in deposits, $3 in fees for a total of $4,587. That left a net of $2,577. As always, here are the actual compensation sheets from the company. If you want to take a look at them, you can always freeze frame them, blow them up, get a closer look at any expense that you question. This series is not a series designed to recruit or get referrals. Total disclosure, I'm no longer at Christensen Transportation at the time that I'm recording these videos. I'm behind. I still have three more weeks of November to do, and I'm going to go back and catch the three weeks of August that I didn't do prior to starting this series. Then I'm going to do a wrap-up series of the a wrap-up video of the entire 16 weeks so that you get a better picture of my journey. Keep in mind, your mileage will vary. You will get different miles because you will drive differently than I do. You will go home at different times. You'll take different runs. I was a regional driver. That also makes a difference. Regional drivers tend to get shorter loads than those long-distance OTR drivers. And make sure you're enjoying every day at work.